So what about the romance? Any? It's the same. In every language, <laughs> it's as hard. Welcome to Glossica's channel. I'm Noe, I'm from Spain, and I'll be your host for today's episode. And we have a very special guest with us today, which is Gian, who is also a polyglot. Hello everybody, I'm Gian. I'm from the French-speaking part of Switzerland, and I speak five languages. As a child, I learned uh, English and French. Then in my 20s, I started learning Japanese, Mandarin, and recently German. What makes you want to learn these so many languages? Okay, so I don't qualify myself as a linguist. I'm always interested in a certain culture or a country. And for me, languages are like the gateway. It's, so it's like a rite of passage, exactly. So can you tell us a little bit more of how are you able to learn all these languages? Well, there's no magic involved really, no way. So um, it's just I had the interest and I put in the time um, and the effort and voila. So you think anybody can do it? Yes, totally. With the right method and the right approach. What do you need to prepare before learning a new language or what kind of resources mm -hmm. do you use? Well, there's a famous linguist who has some good advice and I always share it whenever I can, is when you begin learning a language, you first find the thinnest and most basic possible grammar book of that language. Mm -hmm. Before starting to learn a language, you need to have a certain idea about the structure of the language, what kind of a beast you're approaching, right? Um, second is you must have a very good reason that resonates emotionally with you for learning that language. For instance, recently, I've been discovering a lot of great Italian films, like by Fellini or Antonioni, and I'm like sort of falling in love with Italian, and my motivation is very clear. It would be really to be able to watch one of those films um, without subtitles. Mm -hmm. So uh, once you have a goal like that, I think you are set for learning a language. So what would you say are the main skills to learn a language as an adult? Well, no, I don't think skill would be the correct word here. I would think it's more um, finding your, an approach to language learning which suits you most. And that is, there's only one way of going about that and that's trial and error. Everybody is different, your brains are all different. You really have to discover that by yourself, I guess. What level do you consider enough in order to master a language? There's never enough. I feel it's a, once you start on a language, it's like, um, embarking on a journey which has no real end. And that's part of the challenge, but it's also part of the, the fun. There's always more to learn and you can always discover new things and perfect yourself. But there's also a, a very good benchmark uh, to test your fluency at, in any language, is if you can say a certain things in at least three different ways, transmit your general gist in th three different manners, mm -hmm. then I, I believe you, you are pretty fluent. For instance, uh, I did my bachelor's degree in China so what would happen is I'm writing my question and suddenly I forgot a character. I know I could, I could say it, I could not write mm -hmm. it. So what I would do is I would come up with ways to say the same thing but using different characters and sort of bypass that character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's approaching this idea of uh, saying something in two or three different ways. What will you tell me are the advantages of speaking so many languages? For me, again, as I said, my interests are really the culture. So of course, the first obvious advantage is being able to sort of relate better with that culture. And the second one is when I'm uh, writing. Knowing several languages, I believe, makes me more creative, mm -hmm. makes me able to approach a problem from more angles, creates short circuits in my brain, which can lead to new ideas, fresher ideas. Employees, for example, who are polyglots, on average are paid higher salaries, uh, are more productive than people who speak one language. Mm -hmm. But definitely it must help you make friends. Languages forces you out of your comfort zone. It's a social activity, talking, communicating. Of course, it helps you bond with people, create mm -hmm. friendships. So what about the romance? Any? It's the same in every language, <laughs> it's as hard. Well, I, I guess French gives me an edge, but... Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think French is a, is a good one. So, Gian, super curious. Mm -hmm. What language do you think in? I guess mostly English, but sometimes French. For example, when I'm working out and I'm counting reps, I realize sometimes I'm suddenly counting in French than in English, so it sort of switches between the two. Do you think you have different personalities in different languages? I do believe so, especially if you're talking about very different languages. When I study German, I feel like, wow, I'm so intelligent. And uh, when I study French, I'm like, wow, I'm so sexy. And Japanese, I'm like, wow, I'm so polite. You know, it's like, it does imp impact you to a certain degree. So you say that right now you're learning German. Deutsch, yeah. 
So where is that passion? Where is that you want to learn a language? You have to find something that really interests you. Yes. What was that for you, man? There's a Swiss psychiatrist, of course you know him, called Carl Gustav Jung. He's really been in, a big inspiration for me in my writing, in, in regardless if it's designing characters or worlds. January this year, I've started reading a book of Jung every month in German and just going through it and looking up uh, the words I don't know. And uh, that's really what gets me going. And later on, I want to re read Kafka in German. I want to read, um, so it's a lot of writers basically, Hermann Hesse. Uh, there is a high level of German. Interest trumps difficulty. So uh, just go gung-ho, uh, I want to read Jung, get a book of Jung and uh, go through it. So Giang, yes. five languages, mm -hmm. what is your next language challenge? Can um, be Spanish? Spanish would be interesting, but actually recently, I've, as I said, I've been discovering Italian films and I really enjoy the culture, so maybe Italian and Sanskrit also. Wow. That would really? be a big challenge, yeah. Mm. So one step at a time, we'll see what happens. I wish you all the best for your language learning. Tout de mieux pour votre apprentissage de votre langue. Gaiko kogo benkyo wa gamba te kudasai ne. Alles gut für ihr Sprachen lernen. Toi toi toi. Ciao a niman shwe wa yu yen. Ciao a pul jen dan dan shayao ciao. If you want to know more useful tips, he already have another video. We will link it somewhere here. What languages are you interested about? What are you learning right now? Or do you have any useful tips that you can share with us? Don't forget, you can comment. And now Glossika has a new app that you can download for iOS. We will leave the link down below. And thank you for watching. Hope you like it and see you next time. Bye bye.